Okay, so this is the second update on making a low detail model of the Great Brunel's SS Great Eastern steamship. And this is where I've got to so far, um, having had quite a few uh, problems, well not so much problems, as just sort of full starts, especially with the uh, paddle wheel boxes. I think I've remade those about five times in the end, uh, because uh, what I wanted to do was to make sure that I had the uh, motion of the paddle wheels it, you could see them through the fan display there so let's just put the animation on to show you oh, you get a better effect than that there we are let's pull back a bit mm. maybe going a bit fast i might have to adjust that i mean that's just the frame effect in g max so we'll see what it looks like i've set it for 100 frames for the animation um, but as you can see, I finally cracked it, and I've managed to get the stop that to about to zero, and um, I've got the uh, all the uh, sails on now. Uh, originally, I had these set at about 45 degrees, but I found they conflicted with some of the rigging, which I've also added more to sort of show the effect of the rigging rather than it being an absolutely 100% accurate. Uh, reproduction of the rigging which is really quite complex these are a couple of bits of the rigging which I clone to to rig out the ship um, and uh, but you can see there's the handrail around here and, and eventually as I've got to build up the side here uh, because that's just straight that's just the deck without any side to it so I've got to put the deck edging in and I've got to bring in some of the um, deck features uh, some um, the wheelhouse and that sort of thing and the bridge which I thought went between the two but obviously not between the two paddle boxes but obviously not as we've got a sail there so it must be further back here anyway the bridge is open to the sky it's just it's just literally that just a like a, a bridge a um, cross piece uh, completely open in order to keep the steersman awake apparently that's what they did in the Victorian period you can see there that the rigging is now coming on quite nicely um, I, again I've simplified it a bit just to keep the polys down especially these these part of the rat lines for running up and setting the sails and I've also simplified uh, the rigging for these sort of catch type sails here uh, that come in and um, but the, the the engine chimneys are correct I've, I've actually had to compromise in a whole series of aspects especially around the paddle boxes and this one I've actually, the way I've done that with the, uh, where are we, with the materials. Anyway, I've actually got um, two different types. I've actually used my frames there, my frames material, um, because uh, that's actually in two parts, or it's actually in more than two parts now. It's, it's one, two, uh, three, four, five, uh, it's about eight parts. Um, all of these curves and they all had to match up precisely and getting those those um, that fan which is it's not semicircular it's a semicircle but it's compressed down on the vertical axis so that took quite a bit of doing just to get that the proportions right and so basically what I've aimed to do is just to get the look of it right and um, the plans which I've been using <laughs> well, they vary along with looking at the photographs and the drawings and the paintings there's not one that's really consistent, so this is going to be a best effort. Um, the the propeller is nothing. Well, I mean, it's a bit like Brunel's, but you know it's a very low poly effort there. So I've just twisted. Got almost, it's almost like a sort of a quadrant shape, which I've then twisted in two to two of the dimensions in order to give it that 3D um, look. But we're getting there. Well, I'm getting there rather. I'm not going to worry about portholes. I think they're going to be too far away. You're going to always be too far away to see that. Uh, I've got to do something at the rear, at the stern of the ship. Uh, the the name goes here. That's, that's Great Eastern. But also, uh, on some of the early images, there's quite a lot of sort of, um, you know, that, that that sort of decoration that these ships had to, in the sort of high Victorian period. And at the front here, I've got to bring in. There's a there's a, quite a few details that I need to bring in there to make it look right. Uh, the anchors um, and the anchor chain shafts and that that ran through the the bows of the ship there um so around the stern here is going to be as i say it's straight pretty straightforward just the name but as i say there's still the deck housing there's deck 
um, uh, buildings to put in there and uh, they'll take a while to put together what I'm aiming to do is just do simple boxes and to carry the detail on the texture to bring in another texture but as you can see so far I've managed to keep the textures down uh, to only just four and um, these are just for the those are just the plans uh, which I'll lose and um, so it's maybe there's going to be let me see there'll be one texture for the anchors because they'll just be painted on the side uh, what else? and there'll be a texture for the uh, building the, the structures the cabins on the or the structures on deck I hesitate to call them cabins everything seemed to happen down inside the hull so at the moment uh, with everything there um, what's the poly count 9629 so I'm over the budget a bit but um, what I'm going to do is obviously I've got to strip this out for the bogey so this all of this on both sides is going to be one bogey so that will take out quite a lot of the polys. I mean, if I look at that, that's the group of the, um, just the paddle wheel It's uh, alone is 1740. So that's um, three and a half thousand polys. So that will bring the main structure with, uh, with those as the bogey. That will be reduced from the main structure. And even then I might bring the paddle boxes in. You can see 282 there. Oh, it's, just, it's just 28, but 16. I mean, there's there are some... So that's 282 on the top, the front here, yeah, 379. So, so together on both sides, there's another 1,000 polys. I might put those into the bogey because I think if I can get the bogey up to about 5,000 polys there and the propeller bogey will be a very small one, um, then it means it won't cause too much of a problem for the graphics in trains to load this up. As always, it's a compromise and Great Eastern's going to be a compromise like any other. Uh, I've still got to bring in, oh yeah, that's another aspect, isn't it? I've got to bring in a... I think it is, um, I think there's five or six lifeboats on each side at the front and four or five at the back. Those will be a separate model which I shall just um, use as, I should just put attachment points here for those uh, when I get them up to the size that I need. And I'll just be using a very basic model of a lifeboat or a rowing boat which I've used, <coughs> I've used before. In fact, it's the one I use at the, that's um, hanging off the back of the, off the um, stern of the, schooners which I put online so there we are that's how far I've got with that there's still a lot to do um, but I think it's worth sticking with it and um, although it sort of slowed me down making other models such as um, catches and, and uh, all the rest of it uh, I think it's going to be worth it big point though remember you can use this once it's finished it will be suitable for any layout at all doesn't matter how small your harbour is or if you just got a little pier or something you just let it you anchor it off um, or you let it stop off the pier and you just put a couple of small lighters small ships that would ferry passengers from the Great Eastern to the shore that was the way Brunel designed it to be operated so it could serve any harbour but it wouldn't be berthed at any har at every harbour there was only a handful of harbours around the world that could could actually accommodate Great Eastern uh, alongside the pier like in New York for example she famously made a, a very uh, um, popular visit but normally the idea was for example off Trincomalee um, she would stand in the channel she would go to anchor in the channel and then there'd be a series of boats serving her so in the in the version because there will be a static version of this when I take the and it'll be without the sails uh, what I may do is bring in I may add the um, steps down to uh, the, the little sort of landing jetty uh, that would be um, put on um, at the point when she was uh, being serviced in a harbour. I'm not sure about that yet. Uh, I was sort of keep chucking around the idea of making the one of the lighters that Brunel designed her to carry so that she would carry her own uh, service down to the back to the shore wherever she uh, wherever she anchored but I've not found any plans and if anybody comes across any plans uh, my details my emails on this um, web channel will just post a uh, comment saying you've got plans with your uh, and, and just go to my um, uh, website and you'll find my email there just email me to say you've got the plans and uh, I'd be very grateful for them but I, I've never seen them I've never seen and I've got several books on Brunel including some some really you know really uh, really substantial volume 
<coughs> unless the more recent volume about the Great Eastern has, planned, you know, whoever uh, I can't remember who wrote it now. Um, it's on Amazon for about fifty quid. If if anybody's got that and there are plans in there, I wouldn't mind a photocopy uh, just of those plans, just to give me an idea of what the lighters were meant to look like. Because if if nothing else, they would be quite handy as ships for uh, elsewhere in trains. But there you go, she is going to run in train. She is on her way. Um, hopefully not taking quite as long as the original. Um, I can't see her being finished completely before the end of February 2019. But she's, you know, a few weeks away now, I think, uh, once she's been tested out by my Bob the Beta tester. Brilliant Bob the Beta tester. And, um, and there we are. So I hope you've enjoyed this update. This is update number two. And uh, look out for her being released uh, on my website. It'll only be on my website, but I'll, I'll put an, um, a video on YouTube. And if you've enjoyed looking at this, uh, my effort to recreate the Great Eastern, this video then please give me a thumbs up uh, please leave a comment if you want to good bad or indifferent whatever you like I don't mind um, and please subscribe to my channel uh, it doesn't cost anything it, it doesn't commit you to anything um, I don't know who you are and um, but it just it's just a boost really it's a sort of a, you know morale boosting thing that people are actually looking at the stuff and find it of interest so there we are there's the Great Eastern on her way sailing into a harbour near you before too long